Hey, so in this episode, we're gonna be talking about the whole idea of how to increase your productivity by at least 30%, if not more. Um, when I implemented these strategies and tools, I got a tremendous amount of structure, discipline, clarity, um, and form in my life as it came to productivity. And so that's what I'm gonna share with you today. And so there's a few things that we first need to look at as it relates to time and how time actually works. One, there are three things that you can do with your time. You can invest it, you can spend it, or you can waste it. Reminder, you can invest it, you can spend it, or you can waste it. So we're gonna be talking about how you can invest your time. Why? Because I want to make sure that your time as you know, it's one of the most precious assets that you have. You can't buy anymore. And um, everybody is dealing with the same amount of hours that we've got per week. It's a matter of how we're actually utilizing them. A lot of us are taking the same hours, spending them, wasting them. Few of us are investing them. And then there are very few of us that are actually taking the time that we have per week. And some of us are giving it out uh, like Tic Tacs. Here's our minutes, here's our minutes, here's our minutes. And life just happens to them. I don't want life just to happen to me. I want to happen to life. And so I'm pretty sure that you're in that game. And if I could totally tell you how to get 20, 30, 40 plus hours back of your week, I'm sure you'd be pretty amped and pretty excited about that. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. So we talked about three ways that you can you, you use your time. Now let's talk about the fact that there are three types of time. There's days and there's time, but in your time, you can focus. You can use that time to have as buffer time, and then you can use that time as Sabbath time. And so if you look at the, those three types of focus, buffer, and Sabbath. Focus says I'm about a task that's creating value. Buffer says it's all those mundane things that are peripheral. It could be paying the bills, could be running errands, could be doing those other things in life. Focus time is the time that is uh, like everything has been blocked out and things have just put me in a mode where I can just be in the zone and time disappears where I can just create the greatest amount of value possible. Lastly, Sabbath says these are the times where I'm going to be by design, taking time to reboot, to refuel, to rest, to refill my cup so that when I go back into focus, I'm at my highest performance and it's going to be amazing. So when we think about that, we think about these are the three ways that I can use my time, the three ways, the three types of time that I've got. And now you got to ask yourself, how am I going to put that into, in, into play? Well, when you look at your calendar, whoever controls your calendar controls you. When it comes to looking at your calendar and how you've allocated those times, you're going to look at your times of your day and you're going to say, where is my buffer time? Where's my Sabbath time? Where's my focus time in each day? Now, for some of us, they think nine to five, that's supposed to be the focus time. But to be quite honest, I can tell you that I can take many Sabbaths. I can take an hour of Sabbath. I can take an hour of focus time. And I can take an hour of mundane time within that day. But what works really well for me is to say, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to say in my day, I'm going to have focus time, buffer time, and Sabbath time within that day. But days have parts. And so here's one of the tools that I like to teach. Each day is three days, meaning 6 a.m. to 12, 12 p.m. to 6, and 6 p.m. to midnight. Part of that, you're going to be sleeping. Now, when you look at the rest of your days and the hours that you have and where you can invest them, you can start to say, okay, this part of my day I'm going to have for focus time. This part of my day I'm going to have for, uh, uh, I'm going to have for my buffer time. And this is the part of my day that I'm going to have for Sabbath time. Now, some people push all their Sabbath, like our family goes Friday night till Saturday night. That's our Sabbath time. It's not Sunday because we want to focus on Sunday being getting ready for the week. But when I started to implement this and doing what is my next big step, which is time blocking, I literally go into my calendar and block out where's my productivity, where's my focus, where's my Sabbath, and where is going to be my buffer time. If you utilize this formatting of your time, here are the outcomes that you're going to be able to get. One, I, why am I even disciplining this time is I want to be able to be more fruitful. I want to be, be able to be more productive. And honestly, here's the end goal. Work the least amount of time, creating the greatest amount of value that you can create, doing what it is you love while increasing God's kingdom. That's the role in my life in terms of why I put self-imposed deadlines, projects, um, initiatives, launches, productivity, time at the easel, everything that I'm doing in life, no matter what I'm doing, I am doing it by design. And now here is the secret ninja move. Lastly is this, when it comes to your time, when it comes to you pricing yourself or the value for yourself, 
Do not base your value on time. Do your value based on the quality and the, the outcomes that you produce. Example, when I was you know, looking at pricing my work when it came to doing artwork, for example, I wanna be able to get the largest amount of revenue for the least amount of time spent on a piece rather than it taking me hundreds and hundreds of hours to create a piece. What if I create that same piece in a certain amount of hours by changing my technique to maximize time spent and invested on this for greatest amount of outcomes? So when you as a leader, as a creative, start to look at your leadership of your time and say, listen, I'm going to steward my time, steward my time so that I can work the least make the most, do what it is I love, while building God's kingdom, I can invest more time into those things which have eternal results. That, my friend, is where you become an absolute ninja on your calendar. Most people say, I just wanna become more productive. For what, why? The whole goal here is to have fruitfulness and to have bigger, bigger dividends. And by doing that, that's gonna require you to then step into your time leadership role and getting absolutely ninja on your calendar and on your schedule. So I'm already working on the next year ahead, mid-year in this year. Time blocking, starting with family, starting with those things which are most important, then wrapping work around life, not life around work. So if you're struggling with work-life balance, it's not about balance, it's not about management, it's about mastery. So keep that in mind, I hope this helps. Put it into play. Go back to the beginning, think about the three types of time, think about the three types of days, think about, think about how you can plug that into your calendar. Whoever owns your calendar owns you, my friend, and our goal is to stand before our Heavenly Father saying, well done, good and faithful servant. You didn't squander the time that you had here on earth. Hope that helps. Have an amazing day. See you.